This video will cover the basics of the cell types within the brain. The brain basically consists of two categories of specialized cells. These are the neurons and neuroglial cells, usually referred to simply as glial cells or glia, which form the non-neuronal supportive cellular elements. Neurons really form the fundamental processing unit of the central nervous system. There are different types of neurons. They have many different properties, they have many different shapes and sizes and also many different functions. Most neurons have several basic properties. They have axons, a cell body, dendrites and axon terminals. The axon varies in length and complexity from, in some cases, only a few millimeters long to quite a distance. It transmits electrical signals from the cell body to the axon terminal towards target neurons. The cell body contains the nucleus of the cell. The dendrites extend from the cell body and they receive information from other neurons. The axon terminals are also known as presynaptic terminals and they are very fine branches that form communication sites with other neurons. Most end on the adjoining neuron dendrites, but some end on adjacent neuronal cell bodies as well. The term glia, from the Greek word meaning glue, reflects the 19th century presumption that these cells held the nervous system together in some way. The word has survived, despite the lack of any evidence that binding nerve cells together is among the many functions of these cells. Glia forms the fundamental support or scaffolding structure of the brain. Glia cells have many different roles, and there are in fact also many more glia cells than there are neurons in the brain, outnumbering them by a ratio of perhaps 3 to 1. Although glial cells also have complex processes extending from their cell bodies, they are generally smaller than neurons and they lack axons and dendrites. Glial cells form connective tissue, the structure of the brain, they serve metabolic support roles for neurons, they remove excessive neuronal secretions, and they produce myelin, which insulates axons and aids in the electrical propagation of the signal along the axon. There are three types of glial cells in the mature central nervous system. Astrocytes, oligodendrocytes and microglial cells. Astrocytes, which are restricted to the brain and spinal cord, have elaborate local processes that give these cells a star-like appearance. That's why they have the prefix astro. The major function of astrocytes is to maintain an appropriate chemical environment for neuronal signaling. Oligodendrocytes, which are also restricted to the central nerve system, lay down a lipid-rich wrapping called myelin around some but not all axons. Myelin has important effects on the speed of action potential conduction. And this will be covered in another video. In the peripheral nerve system, the cells that elaborate myelin are called Schwann cells. Microglial cells are smaller cells, they share many properties with tissue macrophages and are primarily scavenger cells that remove cellular debris from sites of injury or normal cell turnover. Microglia are therefore sometimes classified as a type of macrophage. Following brain damage, the number of microglia at the site of the injury increases dramatically. Some of these cells proliferate from microglia within the brain well, others come from macrophages that migrate to the injured area from the circulation. That's the end of this video. I hope you think this was useful. Be sure to subscribe to not miss any new videos and share your thoughts and suggestions in the comments below.